Hi, in this video I will introduce electric fields and how we can calculate electric field strength. In my previous video I introduced point charges and how we can use Coulomb's law to calculate the forces acting between them. Electric fields can be represented graphically with field lines. These represent the direction that a point positive charge would move if placed in the field. When drawing field lines you should consider firstly that field lines point in the direction that a point positive charge would move, so away from a positive charge or towards a negative charge. And secondly, the spacing of the field lines represents the strength of the electric field. The closer together the lines are, the stronger the electric field. As lines radiate away from point charges, this shows that the field weakens with distance. If we bring two opposite charges together, their electric fields will merge like this. You should also be aware of the electric field pattern that forms between parallel plates. Here the field is uniform. It's analogous to... Here the field is uniform. It does not get weaker with distance, so the lines must be parallel and evenly spaced. Again, the lines go from positive to negative. Note the edge effects. These, these are the curved lines of the edges of the plates where the field is not uniform. This parallel plate pattern is analogous to the uniform gravitational field that we experience close to the surface of a planet. Now let's add some more lines to these diagrams. These are equipotential lines and they are always drawn perpendicular to the field lines. They join positions where the electric potential, more on this in a later video, is the same. No work is done on a test charge moved along an equipotential line or an equipotential surface in three dimensions. We've already thought briefly about how the spacing of these field lines represents the strength of the electric field, but we can also quantify this. Electric field strength at a point in space is defined as the force per unit charge experienced by a positive te test charge placed at that point. E equals F divided by Q. So this would have the unit of newtons per coulomb. It tells you how many newtons of force a one coulomb charge would experience if it was placed at a particular point in the field.